What's good? It's your boy CMG here, back with another banger. So today we're doing a lineup tutorial. So on all my lineups, I pretty much like to start with wrapping them down with alcohol, getting all the dead skin, old black spray, you know what I'm saying? Getting all the debris off the forehead and out the hairline, make it easier to line up. All right, so pretty much now I'm gonna take my comb and lay the hairs down the way that they wanna lay down. It was like the natural way. So I'm just kind of brushing them down, seeing the way they're laying. And then I'm gonna take my one and a half guard open and kind of just lay them down. Cause they're already laid down and disconnected. So I'm just gonna continue that and make the lineup a lot easier to lay down, so. All right, so now with the lineup, you either like wanna start with the lowest point of the hairline or you wanna start with the middle. So he pretty much didn't have a lowest point. He's kind of kind of all grew like the same. So I just started in the middle. As you can see, he has lights, a cowlick in the middle of it, like where the light spots at. So I'm just literally gonna like imagine the line where I wanted that. So like my biggest thing when I was first starting off is you don't know where you want your line. Just try to imagine like a straight line on his forehead where you exactly wanted that. So you don't have to really push anything in too much. Like even for the vertical bars, I'm just kind of going on at the edge of the eyebrow. That's that's kind of what I use for my like measuring tape for the edge of the eyebrows. So I'm really just following, following the imaginary line in my head that I kind of drew out already. So like on this side, you can see it a little bit more. So it's not really hair there cause the cowlick. So I'm literally just lining up the skin cause I'm gonna go back and enhance it to like make a full line. And this is how I'm pretty much saving the hairline. On this side, I had lined it up first, but I didn't really like the way it looked after I went back and looked at it and seen it wasn't symmetrical with the other side. So in some cases, you have to push it back to get the symmetrical line. So I'm just gonna go back and do a light pushback, nothing crazy. Just, I want both the sides to edge up with the, with the eyebrows, so yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my razor and kind of really define that line that I just made across the forehead. Just getting all the little stubbles and all the uh, dead skin off the forehead before I add enhancements. All right, so here I was just making sure everything was good before I add the enhancements on it. Everything was good, so I ended up adding the enhancements. Um, with the enhancements, you kind of just want to stay light. Um, I feel like here in Florida, we have a different look on the enhancements. Most people just do more natural, but most of my clients like the, you know, the heavy look, the dark look, the, the picture perfect look. So I pretty much just do it how my client wants it for the most part with the enhancements. Um, for the sides, try to spray in like a triangle angle. Like don't just spray up and down on the vertical bar because it's, like it's just going to look like spray. Try to spray a little like a little bit into the fade not too much though all right so now i'm gonna hit him with some holding spray because i'm gonna have some fibers on it so fibers give more of a realistic look like as you spray it, spray it it looks like i'm spraying hair on his head like with the spray it looks like spray with the fibers it looks like real hair so i just try to go back and add them in spots that need it for the most part um don't want to spray too much. It's kind of going to stick because you put the holding spray on it by itself already. So just lightly mist it on there. All right, so a little bit of it came down a little bit too far. So now I'm just using the brush to kind of blend it in. I don't want it touching his eyebrows or anything. So, so I'll hit him with some holding spray again just to really lock in all those fibers. I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer to dry it up so it doesn't really go anywhere. All right, so now I'm coming back with a kiss can. Like I said, our clients like that picture perfect look, so he doesn't want like any of the light spots from the hair line from the hair showing. So I'm just really hitting the, those spots and really making sure that it looks as dark as possible, like picture perfect. So like like I said earlier, try to spray that triangle triangular look. Like you see, I'm spraying the fade. I'm not just spraying literally the uh, just the I'm not just spraying the vertical bar. I'm spraying the whole the fade into it too.
all right so now i'm coming with the pencil um for the pencil you just kind of want to do it lightly like i would say like you don't want to draw it on but you want to like like sketch it on like just light strokes back and forth um as far as the color of the pencil like i have the other barber magic pencils but for some different like skin tones different pencils look better so he has a lighter skin complexion so this one has more of a pop look in my opinion so um pretty much just want to apply it over and then i'm just going to go back over it with the trimmers and blend it in so it doesn't look like just a white line on his forehead All right, with blending, you don't want to rub too hard. You kind of just want to blend the edge of the pencil into the skin. Like, blending is just so, like, it looks more natural. It looks more like a like a razor edge after you're done with it. Like, All right, so that's pretty much the end of it. If you like it, leave a like. Show support in the comments. See you boys next video.